Hey guys, welcome back to 3D Print Farm. Today I want to share with you a potential money-making idea by taking a regular old ceramic tile, this is a four inch by four inch ceramic tile, about 13 cents a piece from any home improvement store or Lowe's and turn it into something cool like this. Or like this. I'm gonna show you how to do it right here, right now on 3D Print Farm. Let's do this. Hey guys, welcome back to 3D Print Farm. Again, today I am super excited to share my technique on how I created these images on these cheap ceramic tiles. Now the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need one of these inexpensive desktop lasers. Now this one in particular is called the Ortur Laser Master Engraver. You can pick one of these up over on Gearbest for under 200 bucks. What I love about this, it is the footprint. This thing is tiny. It literally took about three bolts to put this thing together. It took me literally 10 minutes to assemble the thing. It has two stepper motors for the um, X and Y axis, and it sports a four and a half watt laser, which is really cool, and it's perfectly powerful enough to put images on tiles. And you know what? I've got 3D printers, and you guys have seen my resin printers. I've got FDM printers. This thing is so tiny. I mean, you can stick it up on a shelf. You can stick it in a closet when you're done with it. You, it, you can, it's portable. I hook it up to my laptop. It, this is just a really awesome piece of equipment. Now, I know you've probably seen videos on how you can use these desktop lasers. This is a diode laser to cut cardboard and cut little thin pieces of wood or maybe engrave your name on the back of your wallet and that's all fine and good but these lasers are powerful enough to engrave really cool images on tile and you know, I know what you're asking you're, I know what you're thinking to yourself especially images like this okay this was a black and white image let me get a close up so you guys can see that. This is a black and white image that was engraved on this tile. Now my mind got to thinking here, okay? So, black and white images on tiles or colored images on tiles. So as far as a money making idea is concerned, can you imagine, let's say grandma's, uh, mom's, dad's for gifts? I mean, it's th this is a, a gold mine for Christmas gifts. But let's say that you're wanting to make a few dollars here and there. People have digital pictures all over the place. And maybe they want one of their, maybe their pet. Maybe it's a tribute to a pet that has passed on. Or maybe it's a family member that it would, these are personalized gifts. Anything that's a personalized gift tends to sell extremely well. And again, I've got literally less than 25 cents in each of these. Now, you'll probably want to apply a little bit of cork to the back or maybe some felt pads to make it into a coaster, but you know what? This this could potentially be a nice little nice little side business or you know, if you just want to make some for family and friends. The very first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your tile and here I am outside on my shop and I'm taking a little bit of lacquer thinner and I'm applying it to a uh, cloth rag and what you want to do is get all the fingerprints, all the grease, anything that usually these tiles have some type of a film on them so in order for the paint to stick correctly you want to be able to get all those fingerprints off. Now you can use acetone uh, or lacquer thinner, either either or. So you'll want to make sure that those are completely cleaned off. And after that, this lacquer thinner acetone is going to dry real quick. So the next thing I did was I took some Krylon Gloss Jungle Green spray paint, and what you'll want to do is apply a nice coat. And what I mean by nice coats, not a light, not necessarily a light coat, but let's say two light coats. 
So as you as you can see, I'm you know you make sure your can shaked up real well, and you want to go uh, in sweeping motions, but you want to start away from the tile. You don't want to start spraying while you're directly over the tile because you end up getting some of those paint splotches or splatters. So what I'm doing is I'm starting outside the tile, and I'm applying one coat, and then I'm going to go back and apply a second coat over this tile. Now I want to let this dry for approximately two hours. And then I'm coming back here with uh, some gloss black paint. I'm applying the gloss black paint similarly to the way I applied the green. So I'm using, a, again, using sweeping motions. And now you want to make sure that the green is completely covered. So I'm using about two coats. Now it's really important you let this tile dry overnight. Once it's dry overnight, once it's dry overnight, then you're ready. So again, after the tile set for 24 hours, set them aside and then they're ready to go when you are. You need to get the image into a suitable format for the laser. So the very first thing I did was I downloaded a program called GIMP. And I'm gonna put links in the description below how to download this free image manipulation program. It's very similar to Photoshop. And if you, all you Photoshop users out there, uh, Corel Draw, you're not going to have any any uh, issues whatsoever in learning to use GIMP. Okay guys, let's go to the computer and let's get that image into the system. Okay, as you can see we've started up GIMP and now what I want to do is I want to import or open the um, Hulk face that I downloaded. And the first thing you'll want to do is make sure this image is uh, 600 by 600 as far as the image size is concerned. So what I do is I go to image, go to scale image, and I'm going to make sure the resolution here is set up to 600 by 600. And the uh, image size I'm going to uh, change that to four inches by four inches because that's the size of our uh, ceramic tile that we're going to be using. So you can see the Hulk's face is really, really big and I'm going to shrink it down. I'm going to hold the control key and click my mouse. And you can see I've got my magnifying, magnifying glass selected. And now I've got the Hulk, he's all ready to go. So the, uh, the next step, is once you get uh, the image the size that you want, which is the 4x4 here, we're going to go to the Big Gimpin plugin, and I'm going to run it. And what this is going to do is it's going to give me an option, and it's going to say uh, the process images for laser photo engraving. Run the process on standard photos. Do not invert. So it depends on what you want to engrave on. Uh, I'm going to choose tile. You can see the DPI is already set up to 600 and I'm going to run this and what it basically does is runs a series of filters on the image and it makes it um, available or it, it actually makes it converts it to where it can be converts it to where it can be burned um, on the tile so now we've got our image all I need to do is go to file and I want to export it out to my desktop and I'm just going to call this the Hulk face burn 2 and we're going to export that out. I want to make sure that my image quality is set up to 100% here. You can use this slider, drag it out and click export. And now the image has been successfully exported to my desktop. Uh, the next thing I'll do is get into a program called Lightburn. Lightburn is a, a very popular uh, program that's used uh, for lasers. If you purchase this program, you can use it for any type of laser, you know, whether that be one of the larger CO2 lasers or any of the desktop, um, any of the desktop diode lasers that we're going to talk about today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here, I'm going to choose click the import button. I'm going to look for my Hulk face burn 2 and I'm going to open it and as you can see this uh, size here it's set up for 160 uh, that's actually the 
dimensions of my uh, laser, which is the Ortur Laser Master. That's the dimensions of the, um, the bed size that it can print. So this is a 4x4 four four tile. And what we're going to do is we're going to just set it anywhere. It doesn't really matter because we're going to set that up in the laser later. But you set it here. And similarly to GIMP or Photoshop, you can see that uh, uh, Lightburn uses layers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this first layer because that's the uh, where the image resides. And I'm going to go up here and I'm going to select a speed. Now your speed may be a little bit different. I'm going to choose one kind of in the middle, which is around 1,200 millimeters per minute. Uh, the power is, again, is the amount of power that the laser is going to output. So remember, this particular laser uh, works anywhere from 1% uh, all the way up to 100% power. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to adjust this max power by percentages. Because what you want to do is you just want to burn that top layer of black. You don't want to burn the green because if your power is too high, you'll end up burning the green paint as well. So it, it's kind of a, a something that you may have to tweak maybe with a test tile. I found that anywhere from 8 to 10% is a, a good uh, place to start. Make sure that your pass through button is selected. It pretty much uh, turns it off all these other options in here. There's other options that we're not going to not going to talk about in this particular video, but uh, again, we're just going to want to cover the basics of how to um, apply this image to a tile. After that, I click OK, and then what I'm going to do is uh, we'll get this set up. And uh, what it does is it traces the boundary with the laser head around the image that you're going to um, you're going to burn. Uh, what's nice about it is you can hold your shift key on the keyboard after you press the frame button and what it'll do is it'll turn your laser on super low power and it will draw a the dot around your image so you can get your tile positioned correctly uh, as you need to. So you may need a little bit of adjustment. Once you get the tile lined up, everything looks ready to go, then go over here and click your start button and it will start the burn process and make sure wear your safety goggles at all times when you as, as soon as you turn that laser on make sure you're wearing those safety goggles because you only have one set of eyes and you don't want to uh, don't want to blind yourself with these uh, with, with these lasers because they can be dangerous and again please 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 wear your laser safety goggles when you're dealing with these desktop lasers okay Now, since the tile is completed, what you'll want to do is you'll want to get either some matte or gloss clear coat and put a uh, put a clear coat on this guy before you use it as a coaster. Because if not, uh, it has the potential of being scratched, and you don't want to you don't want to scratch this up. So you want to put some protective coating. Because basically this is a painted tile because again remember we just used the laser on such a super low power that we just burned that top layer of black so that the green paint shows underneath so it is just like a painted tile although it is a cool painted tile but if you want to use it as a coaster uh, I would suggest putting either a matte finish uh, clear coat or maybe a gloss clear coat just depending on what effect that you are uh, that you're going for any of these as well so if you have you know images of uh, fa family members or friends pets you'll want to put some type of a protective coating on those some of these people some folks will just put them out on a shelf somewhere and put them in a little stand which is kind of cool you can pick up a stand at the dollar tree like these little wooden wooden stands and uh, pop this in there i mean you got a you got a great gift or if you want to make a few bucks you know 15 20 bucks a tile selling these things you got 25 cents in them that's going to be perfecto did you like this video 
Is this something that you would like to see in the future? Maybe a little bit more with the laser. Uh, I've got something really interesting. If you are interested, I would like you to post them in the comments below. Let me show you this guy right here. You recognize him as Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Well, this looks like a tile like I did before. You know, you spray paint it a color and black over it and then just laser it and then you've got this real cool image. This image is actually burned into the tile. Don't believe me? Little scraper that came with one of my resin printers. Check this out. No scratches. You're probably asking yourself, wait a minute, isn't it painted on there? No, it's actually burned into the tile. Hey, if you're interested, if you're interested in how to do one of these, drop some comments in the comment section below that you'd like me to do another video on how to make a tile that is indelible. No amount of acetone, gasoline, lacquer thinner is going to remove this image. In fact, it is, it is engraved into this tile which is really kind of cool. Again, you know, another money-making idea, so. Again, guys, hey, I want to say thank you for joining us here on 3D Print Farm. You know that I, I appreciate each and every one of you. I just hit 10,000 subscribers here a couple weeks ago. I am just telling you, I am just super honored and blessed that you guys have the faith in me. Uh, for uh, just to share my crazy hobbies with you and anything I can do to help you guys. I, you know, I'm here for you. I try to answer each and every one of my comments. If you have any questions, please drop me a line. Uh, my email address is there in the description. I'd be glad to help you on anything, whether that's 3D resin printing, FDM printing, maybe something to do with the laser here, any suggestions, anything like that, I'd be glad to help you. So anyway, you guys, Stay safe, and we'll see you again next time on 3D Print Farm. Hey guys, would you like to turn... Hey guys, I'm sure you've got a lot of these things laying around your house, or maybe not, unless you're kind of strange like me. A regular 13 cent tile from Lowe's. Hey guys, would you like to take a regular old ceramic tile that you pick up from your... Hey guys, would you like to take... Would you like to take? Would you like to take? Would you like to take? Hey guys, welcome back to 3D Print Farm. Today we're going to.